Haste, I'm so tired. It is hard to collect garbage in this place. This is time consuming and very costly. What should I do? I need to think of another way to collect garbage efficiently and at the same time minimize the time and cost needed in the collection process. Hi, I have an answer for your problem. I know an efficient approach for that. Are you aware of the concept of graph theory, specifically the vehicle routing problem and dominating set? This can help you with your problem. So now, what are you waiting for? Let's go. Let's collect garbage in an easy way. Graph theory is a field of mathematics that studies the properties and relationships of graphs. It has vast applications across different areas that we encounter in our daily lives. With the help of graph theory, we can gain new knowledge and develop new solutions to various complex problems like optimizing garbage collection routing efficiency. Vehicle routing problem involves identifying least cost routes for a fleet of vehicles that are to serve a set of customers, subject to a number of side constraints. It identifies the best paths for several vehicles traveling to a given set of places to lower the expenses like fuel consumption and lessen driving time. Dominating set problem seeks to find the smallest dominating set of a graph. It is a collection of vertices in a graph wherein all vertices in the graph are either a part of the dominating set or are connected to a vertex in the dominating set. It aims to determine a subset of vertices that can dominate the entire graph. To fully optimize the garbage collection, let us first apply the concept of dominating set. So here's the full map of the whole place. In order to apply the dominating set, we need to represent the place by a graph. For instance, the vertices are represented by the intersections of roads within the route, and the edges are represented by the roads connecting the vertices. Here is graph representation of the place with vertices and edges. The number of houses within the two adjacent vertices, defined by the intersections, is the time it takes to collect the garbage and the cost of traversing from that particular edge. Here is the graph representation of the place with its corresponding weights. Since we already have the graph representation of the place, let us proceed to the application of dominating sets. In here, we will identify the potential locations where the waste bins could be placed on a map. But there is a constraint that each garbage bin can cover only at most 15 houses. In applying the algorithm, start with an empty set of dominating nodes. While there are uncovered nodes in the graph, select an uncovered node and add it to the dominating set. Next, is remove all the adjacent nodes of the selected node from the graph, as they are now covered by the selected node. Then, just repeat the process until all the nodes in the graph are covered. After performing the procedure in the dominating set, here is the optimized allocation of the garbage bin and the result of the dominating set algorithm. Based on the results of the dominating sets, it clustered for 130 for houses into 30 groups. Each bin is assigned with at most 13 to 15 households capacity. Since we already applied the dominating sets, let us proceed to optimize the route for the collection of garbage by utilizing the concept of vehicle routing problem. So what are you waiting for? Let's go now! The houses from this village were clustered into groups where they have an allocated trash bin to throw their garbage, determined by the application of dominating set. This village was sectioned into two, since it has a phase one and phase two. The phase one consists of 257 houses, while the phase two consists of 193 houses. I am here to collect garbage to one of the allocated trash bins in phase one of the village. In applying the vehicle routing problem, 
There are two garbage trucks that will collect the garbage. The first is allocated to the phase one and the other is allocated to the phase two. The garbage truck will go around and collect the garbage of the clustered households to their corresponding allocated trash bins, which is determined after the application of the dominating sets. By applying the concept of vehicle routing problem, this is the graph representation of the route with the least total distance that the truck should follow in the collection process. Hi, I am here to collect the garbage to one of the allocated trash bins in the phase 2 of the village. Like what we do in phase 1 of the village, in applying the vehicle routing algorithm, the truck will go around the whole place and collect the garbage from the allocated waste bins determined by the dominating set. Here is the graph representation of the collection route of garbage for the phase 2 of the village determined by the application of vehicle routing problem. Hi, I already finished collecting garbage to the phase 1 of the village. With the help of vehicle routing algorithm, I minimize the route for the collection of garbage. The total minimized distance to collect all the garbage in the allocated waste bins in the phase 1 of the village is 738.2 meters. I'm also done collecting garbage in the allocated waste bins for phase 2 of the village. The total minimized distance for the route to collect all the garbage in the allocated waste bins in the phase 2 of the village is 943.8 meters. The utilization of graph theory has significantly helped us in our lives. Its wide coverage of applications across different areas makes our life better and easier by letting us create algorithms and model them through graphs to develop solutions to those complex problems easily. The optimization of solid waste through modeling as a graph with the implementation of the vehicle route problem and dominating set provides an optimal route. By that applying that approach, this is very effective in optimizing solid waste collection routes, reducing the distance traveled by waste trucks, and saving time and fuel costs and their associated emissions. Moreover, this proves that utilizing the applications of graph theory in complex real-world problems will lead to more simple and efficient solutions.